In this tutorial video, we're going to make a simple work table. Uh, this is one that I've used uh, several times in the past, so I thought I'd just show you this so you get a quick visual of uh, one put together before we get started. And it doesn't have to be much. You can keep it simple, use recycled uh, materials if you can. Uh, this one's a piece of OSB. This one's eight feet long and uh, left over from my, I haven't used it for a while, a little dusty. Uh, left over from my cabinet days, I had some rippings of some half inch plywood, so I ended up using that later, but that's it. Um, again, you don't have to do a whole lot um, with this, this uh, build method. You could almost get away with, almost get away with just a sheet of flat plywood. Um, but a sheet of plywood alone is just a little too bendy, so it's good just to add a little something to stiffen it up. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to use, uh, I'm in a commercial area and I found out back by our dumpsters a, a pallet from some piece of equipment or something. And then I had some rippings of my own left over from a project that are all already the same width and eight feet long. And this pallet, I'm thinking I can use this uh, top three quarter inch piece, cut in half and put back together. To, let's uh, start breaking down this uh, table and we'll get started. Okay, so this part is not rocket science, just bust it apart. Okay, so that was actually a lot of work to get to this point. Uh, the guy who made this pallet did a great job. So, uh, the first thing I need to do is rip this sheet of plywood in half. And uh, remember I'm a bandsaw guy, I said it. I'm not using my table saw, even though there's one sitting right behind me. And it'd be really easy to rip this sheet of plywood, but um, I'm gonna use the minimum tools. So believe it or not, I'm gonna rip this sheet with this handsaw. I'm gonna move this board and get myself more comfortable. Right now, I just wanna get a good start. Okay, I didn't hit the middle, but I'm gonna cheat. There we go. Good enough for workbench. That looks a little ugly, but I think I'll clean that up with my block line. Just parts you saw me cutting on the bandsaw and nailed them together in this sort of ladder shape pretty darn simple and uh, oh, I want to talk to you about the size a little bit you can make the size of your workbench appropriate for the for the surfboard you're making if you're making just a little fish or something uh, you only need to be like six feet long or, but uh, probably you're, you're gonna do this again so you might want to make one a little bigger 
That last workbench that I showed you all finished in the beginning was um, eight feet long. So I already had an eight footer. We tried to make this one a little over 10 feet and, and it also just somewhat was determined by the size of the scraps I had. But uh, I'm gonna make the nine foot six cow gun. So um, this workbench is gonna be about a foot longer but the, the board, but you don't, you could, I could actually build maybe an 11, I could build a board longer than this workbench if I let the nose and tail hang over a little bit, and, and you, can, you can do that. So my workbench is gonna be a little oversized, which is great. Okay, so next I'm gonna take uh, these pieces of plywood and nail them on the top. Nailing up here is a little bouncy, so I'm just going to go ahead and put this on the ground and nail it on just like that. Okay, so one more thing. Um, these sheets of plywood that I ripped with my handsaw, uh, it, it's not such a great job on, on one edge. So, but my other edge has a nice straight factory edge on it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to nail these on with my good factory edge from both pieces on the same side because I'm anticipating needing one straight edge to measure off of, snap a line, uh, so at least I have one, one good reference point. That's it. We made something. So again, uh, I went ahead and uh, th that's done. Got a nice straight edge. As I was building it, um, I noticed my concrete slab has got a kind of a hump on it, so I messed around a little bit to make sure I wasn't building uh, my my uh, build table the, the shape of my concrete slab. So just be careful of some of that. And I went ahead and nailed all the way around the perimeter and all the ribs of the ladder. And I had my framing square out to uh, lay out where the ribs are. I went ahead and made nice, perfect square lines and went ahead and marked them pretty good. I'm not sure if I'll need that in the future, but as long as I had my framing square out, I made sure that those are real nice and square because I, I just like finding the studs in your house. It might be nice for me to know where those are to have a hard point to screw into, I don't know. But that's, uh, if you're making marks on the table, make them nice, because you might use them. Okay, so in the next video, what we need to do is talk about bending wood. Uh, this maybe could have been the very first part of the, uh, of the video tutorials because uh, you might need a little time for it to sit in a jig or something. So if you're following these video tutorials step by step, I'd like you to go ahead, don't, don't start on anything until you watch enough videos to the point where I'm bending wood because you need to do that now.